What's good everybody? This is the boy JC. What I got for you today is a Seagate 1TB external hard drive. You can pick this up from Amazon. I'll put the link up in the description. You can pick it up for $47.99. Now it's a HDD and um, I know everybody wants something affordable to move their PlayStation 5 games or the PlayStation 4 games onto our external storage to free up some space on the PS5 and that's cool um, I'm not really a fan of HDDs because they're pretty slow for uploading and booting games but there's people out there that cannot afford SSDs because SSDs are ridiculously expensive the average one terabyte is like it depends on the brand it's like average 150 160 for one terabyte and that's not and that's a lot of money for people nowadays and being how these games are so huge in terms of memory the, the right the logical one would be a two terabyte 500 gigabytes in cutting it no more and a two terabyte external hard drive could add for the ssds that's you're talking about almost 300 to 400 bucks a pop now if you're a person that don't care much about the speed the booting, the booting speed the downloading speed and all of that then I'll Which is, a, which is for 99 bucks and you got a 5 terabyte for 109 bucks so like a, like again if you don't care much about the, the, the transfer speed and blah 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 some then you can go for it some something is objective me i like speed and i spend the money but is it a deal breaker would it affect my gameplay experience it won't it's just a matter of storage on what you're looking for and um, like I said, for budget-minded people who don't care much all about that, I would go for a HDD. But if you're a person that only okay, let me just put it like this: for the download speed, you'll notice it mostly when you are um, booting up a game from the external hard drive onto your gaming console. The only system, the only system games you could use that for, or should correct myself, the only games you could do that for is PS4 games. With PS4 games, you can always uh, move them from the console, the PS5, onto the external hard drive. Or, if you have a PS4 for that, for an example, and you got a whole bunch of PS4 games, I got a PS4, you can move them over onto your external hard drive, whether it's a whether it's a SSD or HDD, and you can bring it over to any console, another PS4 or a PS5. And connect it up the only difference you'll notice is with um, when you're loading up the game you can load up your ps4 games from your external hard drive for the ps5 now that's a different story with the ps5 you have to have um the, the physical disc inside the the console so you see what i'm getting with so you're getting that right now so when it doesn't matter if you have a sdd or a <laughs>
space, but it also boils down to cost. And HDDs, they are very cost efficient, all right? Until SDD bring down the price, which I don't think they're gonna do anytime soon because they're so hot right now. They're so hot right now, so I don't think the price is gonna drop. But a budget-minded person, I'll go with a HDD. They're, they're slow, but they're not snail pace slow. They're still capable. And like I said, for this one, you have up to five terabytes for 109 bucks. So I will look into it if I were you, the budget-minded um, reviewers or budget-minded customers, all right? So enough talking, let me open the box and see what's inside. I know it's not the most clean, pre um, the most pleasant presentation. This is all I got from Amazon. I was, I, was, I was expecting a nice, beautiful CK box with some graphics, but this is what I got from Amazon, a plain Jane. Okay, let's see what's inside. Open it up real quick. And um, let's see what is inside the box here. Okay, put this to the side. It comes with a booklet. This booklet comes with a, what am I called, what is this? A rescue data recovery service. According to them, you're gonna have at least um, peace of mind, blah, blah, blah. I think you get like a year, whatever it is. I'm not gonna go into detail right now. You can see right here, for assistance or claim, or to submit a claim, you can always go to seagate.com for support. Anyway, yeah, and uh, right here, portable drive, and I give you some stuff right here. This is a quick guide, and some other things. Let's see, that's it? Nothing else? Okay, I guess that's it. Let me just put these to the side. Cause, hmm, anyway. Let me open up this, see what it looks like. Hmm. Comes with a nice um, USB cable. Not that bad. Boom. See the tips right here? Not bad. Pretty thick. And uh, this is the device right here. The Seagate. I think this little thing right here is for the light. When you plug it in, it lights up. I think it's a blue color, if not mistaken. And it's, it fits in my hand. I don't have very big hands. I have average side hands, and it fits comfortably in my hands. You can see right here, if the camera will behave himself. See, you get portable device, and everything right here. Model, blah, blah, blah. All right. It's very light in hand. It's all plasticky. I'm not a fan of plastic. When the plastic is durable, you can drop it. You get the drift. <laughs> now I mean, all right. Do one more time for dramatic effect. All right. Plastic can take a beat and keep on ticking. I prefer if it was plat. I prefer if it was metal though, but you get what you pay for. For forty-seven ninety-nine, one terabyte. Who can complain? So what I'm gonna do right now? I'm gonna um transfer. Let me see, I'm gonna jump for two things. A PlayStation 5 game and a PS4 games. I'm gonna see how long they take. And I may do a boot up for a PS4 game to see how long it takes, all right? So, st so stay tuned. Now I'm back. As you can see, I got my CK connected to my PS5. It's blinking, I already formatted, so it's good to go. It's right there on top of my PS5. Now, let me get back on the main screen here. Let me zoom back in. Out, I should say. The game I'm gonna move is on um, Marvel Spider-Man Remastered. I like to move big games over to test the test the the external hard drive to the fullest. This game is a 53 gigabyte game. I'm gonna move it right now. So let me show you. I got my clock right here. I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna move move. Um, bring it over to move. I'm gonna move it over. All right. 
So we're going to click it. Right here. We're going to go three, two, one.
12 seconds later so it stops at 1 10 minutes and NBA 2K nah I'm not even going through that drama right now that's going to take forever but as you can see it takes that long that long to move over from uh, PS5 to the external hard drive is pretty slow so that's a gift that's a blessing and the curse of a of a HDD you get a whole lot of data a whole lot of storage for the cheap but it's very slow all right so let's see what I could do no I ain't gonna do nothing else so what I'm gonna do in another video I'm gonna do a speed test between this external hard drive and the Samsung T7 and then we're gonna see what's the difference in terms of speed HDD versus SDD this is the boy um, JC you already know subscribe like comment and catch you the next one peace